Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. Office Bloke Dan. Together we are the Office Blokes. Yeah. It is true. Didn't someone comment the other day and say they feel like they would owe donut operator money for the amount we react to? Hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we owe him money. They, no, they feel like they should be paying donut operator because yeah. we react to him all the time. He does all right, I think. I think he's okay. I think he's, uh, yeah, yeah. I think he's bobbing yeah. along quite nicely, isn't he, yeah. really? Well, speaking of donut operator, we're going to react to another one. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a new video, so we're going to do it. Good stuff. I like donut. Super, yeah, very good. super tactical drunken redneck crime spree ends in one tap. It's a hell of a title. Wow, well, I was going to say, yeah. He also, the tongue. I follow him on Twitter and I don't go on there a lot, but when I do, he needs to get off Twitter a little bit. Like, really? He's constantly arguing with people. How oh, is he? Just yeah. always going, like trolling people, going in at people. He must love it. Yeah. But I just, yeah, I don't like Twitter, it's weird. Yeah. Let's do it then. Super tactical, drunken, redneck crime spree ends in one tap. Let's do it. Yeah, now we're in the shooting round. Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're going to be talking about the shittiest and quite possibly the most bizarre crime spree I've ever seen. It was the worst crime spree in the history of mankind. This crime spree, as the news called it, was stupid. It was stupid as f Sorry I've been away from shooting breakdowns and things like this for all scripted things. I wanted to take a little bit of time off and go stomp around in the Utah wilderness looking for very large animals. Brandon and I bagged some monsters. Anyways, the shooting breakdown that we're going to go over today was one where the, the suspect was a tactical redneck who just snapped, mentally a goldfish, or both. I'm just going to say both. But first, a word from our sponsor, Raycon Earbuds. Raycon was my first ever sponsor on this channel and off. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Raycon! September 22nd, Stanislaus County. Stanislaus County. I had to look up where this is at, and my first thought after reviewing the video and not researching it was, it's fucking Florida. It's gotta be Florida. But no, it's California, also a shithole. Not that Florida's a shithole, but you know, there's just a lot of crime there. Stanislaus, 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 Stanislaus? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not even gonna spend time to research and learn how to pronounce that. Stanislaus. It's about two hours from the human feces on the sidewalk capital of the world, San Francisco. Fucking <laughs> gross. So our story. My mate's in San Francisco at the moment. Really? He said to me, "It is an absolute shithole." He oh, said really? it makes LA look like paradise, and he said and that's a shithole. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Is that someone who's been to the states a lot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not like going there for the first time no. and saying that. No. No. Mm. No, he's been there a hell of a lot. He goes, he goes regular for work. Yeah, yeah. I've heard a lot of people he's say it's it. a proper shit hole. Yeah, it's, it's like the, good. the past ten years or so, it's gone downhill. In there, he just what people are saying. Just he said, he said yesterday it was. Wow. So it's uh, yeah. So he's mm, fresh off the years or something. He said a few months ago. Yeah. For the yesterday. Pretty recent. Yeah. Wow. Begins at around 1 a.m. on the 22nd of September. Our suspect, who I am assuming is hammered on drugs or both, you'll see why I think that here in a bit. He broke into someone's home and found a surprise tool that will help him later. And the mystery mouse tool. That's a surprise tool that can help us later. So our suspect steals the surprise tool, some clothes, and then wanders off to whatever <coughs> hole he lives in until 5 p.m. the next day. He wakes up and he says, oh, Holy sh! I still have this gun, obvi obviously without the expensive suppressor. But now I need a truck and some beers. Good thing I have our surprise tool to use later. The mystery mouse tool. So he walks down the road and he's going by this house and he sees this other truck and he's like, hey, there's a truck there and I've still got my surprise tool. So the dude commits a home invasion because he wants that truck. He tells the guy. What the f*** is a military 1st Battalion 2nd Corporal United States military? Obviously, he's high, stupid, or everything put together. But I already said, yeah, he's he's all those things. An idiot. Um, active military. 1st Battalion 2nd Corporal United States military. <sighs> God, these guys killed me, man. Bro, you watch way too much YouTube. You're doing that stupid f***ing 
gay, whatever it is, like high elbow <laughs> Detroit self defense. <laughs> Bro, what well, even was that? Battery, you guys you gotta stop man. watching so much Grand Thumb. It's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> even without the culture, like the gun culture over here, it looks wrong to us. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It looks movie style, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah if, if some guy was walking around like that with a gun in the UK, he'd probably just get ripped. Yeah. <laughs> my nightly bloodlust has overflowed into my days. I think my mask of sanity is about to slip. <laughs> He has a truck now, and what better to wash down a couple felonies other than some Miller High Life? Uh -huh. Holy sh! I haven't drank that horse piss in years. So our <laughs> criminal mastermind just strolls right into the local bodega and helps himself to a case of the champagne of beers while holding his gun in his right hand. I also believe if my broke as <laughs> growing up in Alabama senses served me correct, he grabbed a case of banquet beers also, then just strolls right out of the store. Our shopkeep doesn't appreciate these shoplifting Thing, but you know you don't want to fight a crazy man with a gun in his hand just let him have his beers let him have those thirty dollars right there and then call the police which is exactly what he does and it starts a high-speed chase stanislaus stanis stanislu california county whatever it is however this place obviously has air support that piece of shit truck isn't going to get away from so they start tracking him and homie gets up to speeds of 95 miles an hour or so somehow the local police lay down some spikes and before he could get through the spikes he sides swiped another innocent person on the road lost control and crashed into an orchard being the criminal genius that he is he immediately bells from the truck and uh starts shooting at police while running away officers pursuing wow. him grab it's only gonna win yeah, one way yeah. in it yeah if, you, if you're shooting at police when you're running away mm. that's it it's lethal force all the way all day long isn't it without a doubt what's his motive like what's he is he is he trying to do you know the forever sleep by cop mm. do you think that's the way he's trying to go out I mean, it's, so, it's, it's so blatant that's it i mean it's not like he's smart or anything is it he's no. just going all out blatant like he said he's high or something isn't he? He's yeah like, yeah I'm, I'm gonna go out in a hail of gunfire full mm. of beer driving a truck yeah. like a, it's also <laughs> like a real man. he thinks he's invincible doesn't he, he thinks he's mm. sort of like some some sort of military expert or something but <laughs> you know i know yeah <laughs> brap, brap, brap. <laughs> <laughs> Control rifles and start devising a plan because running into an orchard field after a crazy drunk man who had just shot at you is kind of a death trap well as they're staging the dude keeps shooting at them you can hear one round from the suspect get really really close to these officers tell him the last the shot was on the Dude obviously means business, but fortunately for the good guys, they still have air support. He's not really going to get too far. The eye in the sky throws on thermals, and what do they see? Homeboy is pointing his gun at them in the helicopter, but then he continues to drunkenly wander around in an orchard while shooting at police. The police continue to be really nice and not shooting back right now. They're just trying to call him in with their loudspeaker saying, hey, just put the gun down. Come on out, buddy. Come on out get three hots in a cot but he replies by shooting at them more this is not a good idea because the longer this goes on the more cops are pulling up who have long guns and i believe i hear a bear cat rolling up too so now the bear cat's there which is a huge armored truck with a bunch of swat dudes packed inside of it and the guy decides all right i'll make it a real fight now so he prones out in the orchard and starts shooting at them more and he's prone out uh, facing directly towards you guys The deputies say, well, he's still shooting at us. Let's make this even more of a fight. And they take one of their shields and they put it beside one of the tires that they're taking cover behind to make it better cover. And they prone out too. But now we got a bunch of deputies proned out with long guns. We got a bear cat with a bunch of deputies packed into it who mean business. And this dude's just, he's just looking for a fight, which means because the suspect is a criminal genius, as we discussed before, he stands up in the middle of the orchard. Big oof. So the deputy that you saw earlier proned out to the left of the tire and the deputy that you saw in the turret of the bear cat both fire one shot apiece, definitely hitting the suspect. Back. He's coming go. Right there, stop! Stop! Guns behind his back. Shoot her down. One down. 
He goes down, but the gun's still near him and he's rolling around a bit, so they don't want to come up yet. He finally stops moving enough for a stack to come up and they immediately start rendering aid. Because they tried so hard to save a person who was trying to kill them minutes before, that person lived, but was really f***ed up and got put into the ICU, unfortunately. He was charged with, I have to read this off. <laughs> Burglary, carjacking, carjacking, kidnapping, burglary, assault with a deadly weapon with robbery, robbery, brandishing a firearm, pursuit, evading a police officer, hit and run, possession of a stolen vehicle, attempted murder, assault with a deadly weapon, prove it to person in possession of ammunition, prove it to person in possession of a firearm, and attempted murder. And that is all I have for you fine people today. Look out for a Leo wow. recap coming within the next couple days. I love you all. If you want to help support the channel, go up. Yeah. Lucky, lucky man being alive anyway. Yeah, she just had that but... one charge. Being yeah. a knob. <laughs> Life. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No parole. Yeah, death That's penalty. It. What was that? California? Yeah. Mm. Do they carry the death penalty? I don't know. I don't know if they do or not in California. Mm. No, I'm not sure. No, but I'd be surprised if he's ever going to see the light of day again after all that. Yeah, he's just. Know, he's just lucky, lucky to be alive. I mean, the amount of police there in the end with SWAT guys and all sorts. I mean, yeah. how he only got shot just twice. It's kind of one of them where you kind of want him know. to stay alive to get his punishment. Yeah. Because yeah. he's being a knob. Yeah, yeah, but he's, 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 he's terrorised people. He's not hurt anyone as such, physically. No, but not physically. No, house really. with a gun, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. The guy to go in, his wife was in there yeah. as well. Once yeah. you, you know, it's mm -hmm. absolutely petrified. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it happens to one of my mates years ago when his parents ran a pub and there was an armed robbery and it was like his sisters with shotguns in their face when they were 11 yeah. years yeah. old. And not good it's awful. Yeah. Like, I, I hate that sort of thing. Mm. So I, I think it's good that he survived because he can face the repercussions. Yeah, correct. But... When he's sober. How much is he going to cost the taxpayers now for the rest of his yeah. life? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So th th there's the other side of it. Yeah. You should it, let him hang on for like, I don't know, give him like 10 years, then bin him off. You know what I mean? What, let him out after no, 10 no, years? No, no, no. Oh, oh no. right, yeah. Finish the I job. I think you usually yeah. do, though, don't they? I mean, when they get the death penalty, don't It's like 10, 15 years before they get that anyway. Yeah. Oh, if, if it actually happens, I mean, yeah. it's a long time before they go through it, isn't I, it? I think you get loads of appeals and things. That's right, You've got yeah. to exhaust everything, and then you get put on a list. And but yeah. just don't even, like, don't even tell him, just, like, knock on his cell door one day and say, oh, by the way, boom. <laughs> 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 Sorry. And then walk out. Just so no lethal injection or anything, just no. a quick... Uh, yeah. You yeah. just put him in general population and say, this is that Jimmy Savile type guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let people figure it out. Wow. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that bit more donut. Catch you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers.